All right, we are getting ready for the next part of the stream. I've got Terry and Keith with me uh, here. Hey guys, can you hear me? Can you? We can hear you. Yeah. We can hear you. All right, Hello. We, we, we should be able to hear you as well. Fantastic. Okay, 1.8 guys. This is, uh, this is your baby, not gonna lie. All right. Oh, thank you. I mean, we, so we so we, 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 <laughs> we got a chance to kind of look at it at the ETF, right? So um, there's a lot to go through today. This one's going to run a little long. I hope uh, people are okay with that. I know we try and keep things as, you know, as close to half an hour as possible. Are you guys okay to go a little bit over half an hour? I think so. Yeah. I might yeah. have to use the bathroom. We're at your disposal. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see if chat is okay with that, but I don't think there's going to be any problems there. Okay, so uh, for the people, we have consistently new people coming to the game. Um, for the people that uh, haven't been here, my name's Hamish. I'm a community developer here. Uh, and the other two are here with me in the room, Peter and Yannick. But Terry and Keith, you guys are at Redstone. Can you just uh, say hi and, who, and let us know who you are? Terry, creative director here at Redstorm on the Division. Cool. And I'm Keith, uh, lead designer here at uh, Redstorm on the Division. All right. Perfect. That was easy. It's like you've done this before. Oh, thanks. Yes. All right, so uh, yeah. in the trailer, there's a couple of drops on there that people have seen. Resistance is one of them, and Skirmish is the other. And obviously, 1.8 yep. is bigger than yep. those two things, and people will learn that as we get through it. But can we just kind of go through Resistance and Skirmish from a very, very top level? Uh, what, what, sure. is, what is Resistance, firstly? Well, Resistance is the Division's take on Horde mode, if we just wanted to be straight up blunt i um, love it yeah just straight in to the point yeah yeah uh, and designed to be highly replayable and available for the casual player right but also the ultimate test for our, our most devoted okay. player base so i'm sure it's I'm, the uh, the new activity that just doesn't give up it will right. keep coming at you cool. mm -hmm. i'm sure we'll get into uh, some specific questions soon but the first one i have is so you can play it solo you sure can. Absolutely. Yes, that's awesome. Uh, so it scales oh. and all of that. Yes, yep. okay, I'm cool. Yep. Uh, top level of skirmish, what, what is that? Uh, skirmish is, I think, what we've all wanted, right? For a 4v4 based PvP. With no AI. Yeah. Okay. Uh, custom built maps mm -hmm. uh, and nice, short, fast, fun. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's intense. So, yeah. so less, less running? More fighting? Yep. Oh, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, it's all, it's all about the combat. All right. That's perfect. All right. So we're not going to show everything today. Just a disclaimer. We 1.8 isn't dropping next week, so we've got some time to show you everything that's coming in 1.8. But the big new thing coming in 1.8 is a new zone. Uh, actually, no, two new zones. Is that right, guys? Yep. Sure is. All right. So can you tell us a little bit about Westside Pier? Because, I mean, I know people have, like, kind of glitched out into an early version of, you know, placeholder stuff. But what, what is Westside Pier? Well, new, new, map, new map exploration, mm -hmm. right? I think, I think the high-level plan that we executed upon was really, we want to give players a new place to explore. Mm -hmm. Open up parts of Manhattan they've never seen before. Give them reasons to explore it. And... Make it a new place, a new dynamic place, a new way to interface with the open world. Yeah, it's a it's a open world zone, PVE zone, but it plays very different uh, from the, the open world that players are familiar with. Uh, it's it's a more dynamic place that every time you enter it, um, you're getting new challenges and there's kind of new little things for you to do. Cool. Yeah, so different that we created a whole new spawn system. I was just right, going to so, say that. So I, I kind of went yep. through the build yesterday with Tony. And uh, the AI spawning is completely different. And it felt really cool. Like uh, an entirely new, uh, like, I don't know, you're kind of getting ganked by AI. It was, yeah. uh, uh, was very cool. It, it, it is, it's super nice. I'm sure people saw it in the trailer, right? And it's been on all the, all the blogs and stuff. The factions are working together. So, so the I, dynamic spawning <laughs> plus the, the synergies between the, the, the the, the factions. It's an interesting thing to be fighting LMB, have them drop a support station down and have it, you know, healing the cleaners as they close in on you. Like, <laughs> it's, it's a cool new dynamic. It's kind of mean, actually. You guys, I was going to say, you guys are evil. Jerks. Yeah, kind of mean. <laughs> oh, total jerks. I mean, we could talk about it all day, but I, I feel like we should show it. If you guys are cool with let's that. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Let's, show, uh, show, show. let's take a look and see if we can uh, get a feed from, from Yannick's point of view. Yes. Oh, man. Why you got to do that? <laughs> 
All right, so we got we got Yannick and Tony who are going to give us the the tour around. Uh, and people have already picked up on Muggledon Terry, so we oh, have, have they? we have our extra cast member. Perfect. Love nice. It. All right, so what are we looking at, guys? This is a new safe house. This is Camp Clinton. Yeah, um, I wouldn't necessarily call it a safe house. I think of okay. it as um, terminal a, terminal light. Yeah, okay. it's got all the stuff that you kind of expect to find uh, to kind of start kick off your your gameplay session. So your you know recalibration and crafting and all your vendors and um, but it's also got things added that are kind of new to the West Side Piers. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to track you know your weekly assignments, things like that. Mm -hmm. Stuff for resistance stuff for skirmish and a couple of things. Very cool. All right, and there are stairs. That's great. Um, so so where is Tony going to take Yannick today? Well, where are we going to go? Well, I'm, I'm sure he'll hit a few of the POIs. We actually, this isn't necessarily rehearsed. No, no this is uh, definitely not rehearsed. So I'm sure something yeah. uh, Disclaimer, everyone in chat, this is a development build. As you can see, those gates that are in there <laughs> will not be in uh, the version that you play. Um, and I'm not even going to make a joke that I uh, was going to make earlier because it'll make some people. Do you can make a joke. <laughs> Terry, Terry, you can do. It. Um, but no, it, it, we were going to make a joke about microtransaction gates. But don't worry about it. It's <laughs> That's not happening. No, it's not happening. You did the joke. Uh, but yes, those gates we use those for development stuff. Uh, and also in this build, you will see some of the icons on the map are not accurate. Um, for example, some activities don't have difficulties like the map may tend towards. But this is where we are, uh, the new zone. All right, so north northwest of where people have been playing, right? Yep. This is where the uh, new spaces are um, for skirmish. Mm -hmm. um, we have activities that are going to draw players up and around, all around the space for exploration. Okay. And uh, that's when you'll get jumped by all the dynamic, awesome spawning. Yes. Um, we're actually going to be feeding players something called alerts. So right. awesome. Shade will be delivering alerts to you constantly. And uh, there'll be alerts in the north and alerts in the south. And that's really, that really drives, let's say, the loop of the of exploration and gameplay. Yeah, I'm actually super excited about these just because every time you come in, they will be in different locations. You might have slightly different objectives. And on top of that, you know, the combat's different because all the all the actual AI spawning is uh, is dynamic. Right. Um, Sometimes the, uh, the AI that spawn, they'll be absolutely aware of you, and they will get right on you. And sometimes, sometimes they won't, and you'll have an opportunity to surprise them. Yes. Uh, so I, I see people in chat talking about it, and they're asking, like, is there a new incursion? There, there is not a new incursion in 1.8. But while there is no new incursion, and there's uh, a lot of activities in the open world, there is narrative elements. Uh, so yes, I, I talked correct. about that with, with Tony yesterday. Uh, Tony's the other Red Storm. Tony's a producer, right, on your side? The man. The man. Yes. Okay. The one, the yep. The, the Sturtle. Uh, so we were going, going through it yesterday, and there's, there's some interesting narrative in there. I don't, I don't want to spoil things for people, but there's a whole chunk of audio logs that... Yes, uh, I'm glad you don't want to spoil it. There's a lot, in fact. Yes. Uh, a lot of continuation and explanation, but you have to explore West Side Pierce to find out what that is. Yes. Probably more than people realize. Anyway, uh, yeah. but so we, we kind of saw the Intrepid just before. Mm, that's that, beautiful. Yannick's looking at it right now. Uh, that that big battleship thing's called the Intrepid. Um, Aircraft carrier. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I said battleship. I didn't mean it. That's all right. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you. I, uh, I, I, I'm glad I had someone here to keep me accurate. <laughs> Let's fact check you. All yeah. right. So so what's going to um, what's going to happen on the Intrepid, guys? Can we talk about that? So, you, I, yeah, you do a few things around that area. So, mm -hmm. you know, most of this open world is is totally free for you to explore, right? And then some areas are built specifically for the gameplay of skirmish and resistance. Mm -hmm. um, so actually getting inside and going through the belly of the Intrepid um, is something that, you know, you'll do as you explore deeper into the resistance game mode. Okay, cool. Very cool. All right, that's cool. Um, so we're hidden up on uh, up on the west side. Uh, what, what's kind of the next area that we'll come across with Tony? I don't. I, Tony could lead Yannick anywhere. Uh, I'm really not sure where we're going to go. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, the the POIs that we dropped inside the west side piers are extensive, and of course, we used the same 
you know, recreation that we did in the in the whole game. So mm -hmm. you can imagine that if there's a, a POI or something fancy that you would expect to be there in real life, you're going to see it in, in West Side Piers. Um, there are three main spaces that we built for... Um, for the new, totally new gameplay for Skirmish and Resistance. Mm -hmm. okay. and so Intrepid is the one nearest to Camp Clinton. Um, and as you move a little bit further north, you kind of go out onto the piers and you're kind of down by the water. It's really kind of a cool new environment. Lots of shipping containers and cool kind of ins and outs. Um, and then as you move further all the way north, um, you kind of start exploring uh, the subterranean areas of Westside Piers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stuff underneath. I like subterranean, it's a good word. So uh, Tony took me around a couple of areas and I'm interested to see if he takes Yannick there uh, today. There was like, I saw a car wash. That, oh yeah, yes, what, what is, there's a car wash. What's the car wash? I don't know if we're going to see that. Uh, yeah, let's, I think they're heading over there. Yeah, okay. they're gonna go All there. Right. My favorite, not to d distract from the car wash, but there's actually a club. Yeah, there's oh, a- Oh, can we go to the club? Awesome. The club is so cool. Like, I know yeah. people <laughs> thought, like, the rave room was cool in the underground, and it is, but the, the floor in the club is a bit, a bit ridiculous, guys. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty crazy. There's the car wash. All right, so let, let's go through the Little. car wash. Uh, apparently, I, I'm playing, right? So, <laughs> Peter, you yeah, so alerts can, uh, alerts can happen in any yeah. number of these locations. You got my lower third up. So, which, is, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, you might have an alert that tells you to come and that AI are kind of taking over this location. So you'll have this kind of big fight in this particular POI and up on the roofs of this building. But then the next time you come here, you might say be protecting a, an, a, a Shade Tech terminal in, uh, in that nightclub. Cool. Yep. That's really cool. Uh, sorry, I just got to tell Peter one thing. Peter, uh, if you type, it'll hotkey to certain things. So don't type on that machine. That'd be cool. Uh, but, I, but I see what you mean. Um, so yeah, I see people in chat talking about the bag size is 500. Again, development build. There will not be 500 size bags in the game. That's, uh, that's just for Sorry, our testing guys. purposes. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Uh, all right. Are we, are we headed to the club? I, item management on a 500 size bag. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? All right. This is cool. No, this, uh, this area looks awesome, guys. I'm, uh, I'm Thank you. so excited about what you guys have put out. Very, very cool. One thing we really tried to push, you know, LD-wise, is the fact that these spaces are really connected, right? Like, he was in the car wash, seamlessly went up onto the, to the rooftops. There's multiple ways to hit this nightclub, but you can kind of pick and choose where you want to go, right? And the AI are, are going to spawn around you, um, depending on the routes you take. Oh, nice. get in the club, yo. Oh, yeah. I expect, I expect to see yeah, no, many gifts. Floor. That's so cool of people emoting in the club. It's an aquarium. Dude, that floor is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. Um, the art staff crushed it. My, my first thought when I saw that, and I asked Tony, I was like, how expensive is that floor? Or have you guys done some absolute magic trickery? What's going on there? <laughs> we have an amazing tech art staff that we're able to provide the magic required for something like that. And to still have the factions and the AI spawning uh, they, they, I salute them. They crushed it. That's crazy. That's really cool. It looks awesome. Thank you. So something cool I want to point out here is like they moved through that nightclub. Now they're a little bit further north. Yeah. And so they've been given a new objective in the northern, uh, more northern section of the map, right? To like push them to a new location to help them explore further. Yeah. Uh, Tony actually brought up this, the, this yesterday, Terry, and I wanted to talk about it with you because you said that you would be much better to talk about it. But this area, I think we're going into the park here. Is that right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, do it, Park. So there's obviously a lot of visual storytelling going on as well. Or maybe not obvious, because uh, it's you know not really what a lot of people look at. But there's like a mass grave up here, right? There sure is. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and, well, and not cool. Mass graves aren't cool, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I feel you, dog. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> well, it ties in a lot to the, a lot of the lore of the, the Dark Zone. Right, obviously you'll see a lot of body vaults in the dark zone, you'll recognize that yeah. for those players that go to the dark zone. And a lot, this happens to be right on the, uh, the route, the delivery route, that um, they were taking bodies out of uh, the dark zone and initially burying them here properly. Um, 
as opposed to some of the improper burial that you saw in DZ North um, when eventually they just started dumping bodies. So this was sort of the beginning of, hey, we're going to treat this nicely. We're going to respect the dead. Um, and then that obviously the collapse continued and hell broke loose. Yeah, yeah. this so, is before it's completely out of control. Yeah. yeah. So this is like ground zero for zombies? <laughs> sure, you said it, not no, me. <laughs> I, uh, no, we. Sorry, I mean I, I say that sometimes, but it's it's honestly, uh, yeah. Never. Uh, nope. Someone someone in chat saying this is really New York. Uh, actually, one of the buildings that I saw was like that sale building. Um, mm, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, that might be on our list of things to look at today. But that's that's basically 100% accurate, right? Yeah, it yeah, is. Cool. That's that's always our goal with you know with with the division is to is to make it real so players can visit the these locations just like they do in real life as real as possible right yeah, yeah. obviously we have to legal pending. do a couple of things yeah right. yeah exactly yeah. but it's all there it's all there we wanted to treat it with as much respect as we've been doing this whole time awesome uh, there's also so this i think this might be the area no the the i saw yesterday when i was looking around the the cleaners kind of base that they have up here where there's the, oh, yeah. the depot, no, we're, we're, their production line. Is that on the list of places we're going to look at today? Yeah, we're getting close to that. Oh. This is kind of the outskirts of that area. Um, so if they, when they move a little more north, I think we'll we'll check that out. Let me do some showstopper. Oh. Nice. I, that building is actually one of my favorite ones. It's like a that's another real place in New York where the building goes around the street, right? Like yeah. cars. A main street drives straight through the middle of the building, and we were able to kind of recreate that. It's pretty cool. Right. So I think the guys are still hitting off. That's cool. Yeah, so like, I don't want to hit this point too hard, but like that guy there up on the, the roof of the car that kind of ambushed them. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that guy there. He's he's totally spawned to give them a new challenge. Can you go a little bit into that? How that system works? Uh, Tony tried to explain yeah, it to sure. me a little bit. I mean, I, I found it super interesting. So I guess uh, I, I want to see how you guys explain it and uh, see if it's just sure. as interesting. Yeah, sure. So I mean, basically, what it what it's doing is. It, we have a bunch of behind-the-scenes uh, tuning we can do, right, to try to create different paces of gameplay for the players, different AI combinations. But we're we're filling it with possibilities, and then based on where the player is, um, it's it's spawning unique engagements each time. So it's based on you know the player's line of sight, where they are, um, what kind of smart spawn locations there are to uh, to place an enemy at, and then there's a whole budget system that's kind of tracking. Um, how much AI budget is there to spawn? How many AI can I spawn right now? How difficult can I make this combat for players, right? Yeah. So when you're playing Resistance, it has a lot more room to make things very challenging for you. When you go do the alerts, it's more challenging than this. And so we can kind of fine tune and craft gameplay while still keeping it really replayable because it's different every time. That was the huge push, was the dynamic nature of it. The fact that it's gonna be different every time you play, anytime you step into West Side Pier, you're gonna have a different experience, whether that's the different uh, alerts, uh, different AI structures, everything's gonna be different. We didn't want it to be stale at all. Perfect. Uh, this, and it works. This was the, yeah, it's, it's really cool. Yeah, this was a cl cleaner production line that I was uh, talking about earlier. They just kind of walked past it. If people uh, took a look at it, you can kind of see uh, the progression of uh, what the cleaners have been doing here. It's really cool. Yeah, there is a narrative storyline happening in West Side Pier, mm -hmm. and uh, and some of that is exposed <clears throat> and talk about how the factions have arrived and what they're doing here. Can you tell us a little bit about what the cleaners have been doing? Or is that a, something you want to keep? Hey, that's, you know, as, as, a, as, a, as kind of a story guy, I'd love for players to discover right. it. But, okay, well, I'm fine with you know, that. They're, they're, all, they're all, I don't want to say driving like they're driving their trucks, but, the, you know, all the factions are driving here for a specific reason. Okay. And... Uh, that's as much as I'll go into. Okay, cool. Oh, I, I'm excited to find out what the reason is. I, I legit don't know. So I, uh, I'm going to have to go through these audio logs myself, which would be really cool. All right. Oh, uh, I'm so glad we got some nighttime in here. This looks incredible, guys. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, the art team crushed it. 
and they just they continue to push the boundaries of what is possible and as far as propping and composition and stuff they're world tier man it's amazing yeah, yeah. Uh, guys yeah there are some fps drops in this build this hasn't been optimized uh, like i said earlier this is a, a dev build so there are a lot of unoptimized things in there so do not worry that is on I'm our correct. list of things to do uh, but we wanted to I make sure that, that we show you where we're at because i think that's really important right i'd love to get to the point where we can show you white box stuff but uh oh, man. Not, the, great. <laughs> not today not today guys yeah. why didn't you put textures on anything <laughs> we just forgot oh <laughs> we just forgot oh, no textures oh. all right so there are um what are those activities called uh, i i saw a couple of them on the map earlier um, where the, you have so, the waves of enemies coming in. What yeah, so those are those are the alerts. So if you look like on their uh, mission tracker right now, they have an alert that's unauthorized access, and so their goal right now is to reach the area, and then the up, the objective will kind of update as it pulls you through it. Um, this one in particular is well, we'll see when we get here in just a second, okay. but it's kind of a um, def defend uh, sequence. We know because those sequences are quite long, right? We're not gonna uh, we're not gonna have time to go through those today because they are quite massive. Uh, this these particular alerts can be, you know, I, I wouldn't say they're all terribly long, but they're a huge pace changer mm. uh, from the normal flow as you move around West Side Pier. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're kind of pushing them to be, you know, around the neighborhood of of three to five minutes of of really heightened combat. Um, and, and really kind of continuously mix up the pace of uh, just the Westside Pier's experience. Uh, guys, that wasn't a pun. Uh, I, I used massive in the, the sense not close <laughs> to the studio. It's all right. I should have said Redstone. I'm Hello. sorry. <laughs> uh, That's yeah, funny. Again, we don't have a release date for this yet, guys. We wanted to show you some early stuff, but we'll be showing you more. This is a, there's a lot coming in 1.8. Uh, people may have noticed on the map that sometimes there's D-Tech outside the dark no. zone. What, no, is up? what is up with that? Um. <laughs> yep, D-Tech is, is the long forgotten resource in the game. Um, and we wanted to make it uh, important again. So okay. there's, yep. a, there's a new way that we're gonna allow players to optimize their gear and okay. it's going to use D-Tech. Okay, uh, I think... Alongside some other resources, but yeah. Okay. D-Tech is going to be super useful again. Okay, good. So, we are you saying that people should stockpile D-Tech? Is that... Um, I'm just saying it's going to be used in 1.8. Absolutely. Okay. That's up to them. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll have information on exactly how and what and where and why at some point, but that's not a today thing. Right on. All right. Yeah, we, we're very cognizant of the fact that not everyone enjoys the Dark Zone. Uh, and right now, that's the only place you can get D-Tech, so... This was perfect. Yep. Dark Zone's still gonna be a good place for you to, to go farm and, and get your D-Tech. I mean, we all remember kind of doing those D-Tech runs mm -hmm. uh, early in the life of the game. That was like a nightly activity, man. It was fun. I'm so, very fond of that. Yeah, That's pulling fun. some of that back, but also giving you uh, a really great alternate method uh, here in the West Side Piers yeah. for, for players who just want PvE. I, I see already people in chat saying like, I completely forgot about D-Tech. Crazy. Yeah. 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 All right, so they've completed their uh, West Side Piers alert. Nice. They got some loot. Well, all the loot here is obviously placeholder. Yeah. And look, they got five division tech Whoa. and some target intel. That's handy. Okay. All right. Um, there are also, and the uh, underground is something that you will see changes to in 1.8 as well, guys. I've seen some people in chat talking about it. Um, that's not something we're going to be talking about today. That's uh, Reflections are working on that one. So we'll have to get Reflections on mm -hmm. to chat about that. But there's some really exciting things to the underground. We'll get there. Sure is. Yeah. Big time. But yeah. Is there anything else you guys want to show off before we um, before we wind this up? You know, I mean, I'm just there's a ton more POIs and stuff that we could kind of go through and um, kind of little subsystems. Mm -hmm. Like, I think there's some neat things in here. Like every you know 15 to 20 minutes, you're given a new West Side Peers assignment. So this is something different than the. The daily assignment, there's more variety to them, but it's just little sub combat goals, right? So we're trying to kind of layer your activities and really make this just a a fun um, fun place to uh, to have some dynamic PVE. So you might get one that's 
kill 15 enemies with your sidearm. And the next one might be kill 20 enemies within 10 meters. Okay. And they're just these little sub goals that push you to play differently. And it's it's pretty, uh, it's, it's nice. And you can also complete them during resistance. Yeah, all the pacing, all, everything's layered to be paced properly. And as you probably saw, you get field proficiency here. So we just, uh, it's a constant loop of reward and feeling good and accomplishment and help you work towards you know, maybe your your DTEC goals, and it's it's a, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, we're really trying to push um, push these different loops. So you might come out here and do dynamic Westside Peers content for a while in order to get division tech, to use the new optimization station, to improve your gear, to get back in resistance, and it just kind of keeps you in the game playing, progressing your character. Awesome. You guys should have helped that civilian. There's accommodation for that. <laughs> help ten civilians. So you oh, can't man. just pass that up. Uh, I, I went out help my tents a bit. Nice. Uh, so we'll, we'll hang out for a few minutes and just uh, let these guys walk around, and we'll, I'll, I'll take some questions from chat. Um, obviously, yes, there are currently issues with some 1.7 things that we, we talked about earlier, the RPM glitch uh, and those sorts of things. If you want to know what we were talking about a little bit earlier, you can, you can go back in the stream and, and check that out. We didn't have a chance to go over um, what's happening with leaderboards and masks for Global Event 2, did we? We kind of jumped straight in. Okay. Did we? Yeah, we did. We did? Um, we jumped right in, and we can talk about leaderboards and masks. Yeah. Um, we made the decision to take masks off of leaderboards. Um, we, uh, we know that they're awesome looking, and everybody wants them. And mm -hmm. um, So, generally speaking, masks will be tied to the playlist commendations in the global event. And, you know, one will be relatively easy to get, the others will be more difficult. Um, maybe requiring group play, maybe not. But the leaderboards will still exist. Cool. There'll still be rewards associated with the leaderboards. Um, but the masks themselves are going to be pulled off of the leaderboards. That's awesome. So those, those uh, from what I saw, the leaderboards will give out classified caches. Is that, is that correct? That's yep. correct. We're going to keep that moving forward. We, we really liked how that played with people uh, maybe who were close to completing a set. You know, they collect their leaderboard classified cache, and maybe it's that piece that completed it for them and rounded out their global event experience. So that will continue forward, but the, the hot you know, new masks are available to everyone if they complete these commendations. Right. Uh, I, pretty difficult. I see someone else bringing some up... Some of them are pretty uh, difficult. Someone else is bringing up is their new hip fire. I think they've, they've noticed in the gameplay build that we're running right now. It looks a bit different. We have made some adjustments to hipfire. That's great. Yes, wow. there is. Um, there are a number of balance changes, you know, coming with 1.8. Right. Um, okay. One of the big ones is definitely a rework to hipfire, and you know that it plays into wanting to continue getting more competitive um, PvP for skirmish, mm -hmm. and also you know just kind of improve the overall experience of the game. So, you know, we are a cover shooter. Um, we want to make hipfire viable but not the end-all be-all. So some things that are changing is you'll see the reticle is gone uh, while hip firing. Um, and also some of your, your aiming speeds are, are a little closer to your, your ADS down the scope uh, speeds. So it just kind of you know tightens up the experience and um, makes it feel a little more tactical. That's cool. Is this we wanted to make it, Yeah, we, we just wanted to make it so someone that's hip firing doesn't force you to hip fire because exactly. of the advantage hip fire had before. Okay. So uh, is this kind of going to that whole effect. chicken dance discussion that, I, I, that a lot of people mm -hmm. are bringing up? Yeah. It is a big part of the chicken dance for yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, the other thing I've seen people. Uh, oh, now I've lost it. Um, the chat's moving so quickly. I'll, uh, I'll try and grab it soon. Go chat. Sorry about that guy. Go chat, go. Go, go chat, go. Uh, here it is. Uh, new rogue system? Question mark? <laughs> yes, we have also made a number of changes to Rogue. Um, we'll talk, we'll give all the details about that later, but yeah. kind of as a high line, we've always wanted to give the Rogue a more rewarding loop, right? Um, that means, you know, ro going Rogue and manhunt and stuff like that, so. But also for the hunters. Yeah, um, not hunters, the AI, the but people that hunt Rogues. People who hunt Rogues. Okay, so wow. There are extensive changes to the Rogue system. All right. That's great. Uh, we'll probably have to go in depth on the rogue system oh, yeah. at some point, not today. It deserves its own call. Uh, yeah, it's its own thing. But, yeah. but we could probably spend a, a good 30 minutes to an hour just chatting about it. Well, probably a lot longer, but we'll have to keep it digestible yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Yep. for another day. 
Now, maybe that could be a long form podcast. What we we could actually just see if that could be something we do in another format. Anyway, I'm just I'm just spitballing. We could we could uh, see what we do with that. But yes, rogue changes. Uh, Get me on a plane, baby. I'll be. Uh, The people are asking uh, resistance and skirmish. We we will not be showing those today. You will see them uh, in the coming weeks, but just not today. Uh, We we have time. There is no release date for 1.8. I see another question here. Is there weapon balance in 1.8? There is a continued uh, push for for better weapon balance, absolutely. Uh, We're making some targeted adjustments to some of the exotic weapons. Mm-hmm. Um, we're improving uh, LMGs and kind of making them more viable. Um, and we're also reworking some of the weapon bonuses, uh, like plus flat weapon damage is uh, getting replaced with a, a percentage of weapon damage to kind of yes. promote uh, guns with lower RPMs. Great. So yeah, Savage Gloves with to lower RPM. Ones. All right, awesome. Uh, that's great. People are gonna be very happy about that, I'm sure. I mean, I haven't even seen chat. Yeah. They're, uh, they're gonna be happy about that one. I, I guarantee it. Uh, Go chat. Very there cool. are there are a lot of, I think, really quality uh, balanced mm-hmm. improvements coming with this patch. You're biased. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> just saying. He's right, though, um, because we still play the game and we still hear all of you <laughs> and agree with you, so. I just we're, saw that Yannick on. opened one of the caches and it had a level one something. Perfect. Nailed it. Um, Beautiful. The, the, dev build. Hashtag dev build. Working as intended. Hashtag. Uh, yep. Perfect. I love it. It's so great. Um, obviously, there are all of, a lot of classified gear uh, sets that haven't been released yet. There will be some before 1.8 and there will be some after 1.8, um, which will obviously be part of the landscape as we go forward. Um, yes, there will be new yeah, ones. Part of the global event. Yeah. I'm very excited about some of those new ones. Will there be new commendations in Let's 1.8? Let's just say there's a lot to test on this PTS. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll have, we don't have a PTS date either. I see people asking about the PTS. We will get there. We don't have that yet. But I think uh, maybe you guys could yell at Tony and just check that he doesn't want to show off anything else. Uh, and we can... Tony, you want to show off anything else? All right. We're good? I think he's good. The fog kind of uh, ruined the PO I love. <laughs> It's like, very dramatic looking, though. I love it. Yeah. All right, cool. There's the Intrepid. Can't see it. Okay. <laughs> All right, very nice. That's good New York weather. You have a, you have a chance to do your final emote, Yannick. Don't don't mess it up. Play the violin. Oh! oh. That's pretty good. Great. All right. All right, we can we can come back and just wrap up the stream. Okay. Uh, thanks, everyone. Uh, Peter, can you switch it to the super source so we can get both of us on here? Nope. It's the red, nope, the red one that says SSRC. You might need to click on it. Don't hit the red button. You're gonna get it. Slap it. One day. Is it on the preview or on the live one? We'll get there. He'll figure it out. Um, We can just switch back and forth. Um, (laughs) Okay. Yes, any, uh, anything you guys want to say before we head off? Mm, Just that there's so much. (laughs) So yeah. I know you've said it already, but there is so much. Uh, and I can't wait to talk about all of it. Oh my God. Yes. I mean, I feel like we could do many of these streams and still have new stuff mm-hmm. to, uh, to be introducing. And, uh, yeah. I'm just, I want this version of the game out. I can't wait to play it at home. Oh, and, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Yeah, that's it. Yes. Uh, so, okay. I need to clarify. Yann- Yannick's asked me to clarify something. Westside Pier consists of two zones. So West Side Pier is two zones. Yeah, we, see there is, we see there are two yes. zones. West Side Piers are those two zones. And they have their own yeah. names. And I can't remember what they are. Clinton right. and something else. That's correct. Or something. Yeah, still, still, still working on those names. Yeah. So again, dev builds, so there'll be some things. Uh, one last question for you guys. And I like this one, and maybe we don't want to have to say too much. New weapons? Mm-hmm. New weapons in, the, in 1.8? New exotic weapons? How about that? Is that good? Uh, I can I can go with that. We'll leave it there. That's yeah, a great yeah. that's a great way to end yep. it. Thanks, guys. All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna mute you guys now. But thanks thanks very much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right, we are done for today. Yannick, I mean you're you're free to join me if you want. Do you wanna Do you wanna come and say hi before we before we run off? Uh, so, no, you can come and sit down here. We we can switch. I like it. All right. All right. You can uh, you can uh, just uh, clip, clip that one on for a, for a second. 
I, uh, I don't feel right doing a stream without Yannick in it. It's kind of real because now I'm sitting at like, your place and you're sitting it's at mine. I told so you it would be musical kind of cheers today. How was it? You hadn't actually done that before. No, it was the first time I was playing it. <clears throat> what do you think? It was fun. It's right. just, uh, you know, like, especially when it's a new zone, so you don't, you know, like when you play the division, uh, you're so used to it that you know where the spawns are, you know mm. everything. Now it's a new zone, so first, like, that was really, like, legit the first time I played it, so yeah. I didn't really know where I was anyway. Yeah, this isn't uh, one of these rehearsed things where I'm like, Yannick, and just, what did you think? Of this just the fact that, you know, the NPCs are coming from yeah. everywhere and all these, you know, different factions working together and everything makes it very, very confusing, but fun. So, yeah, no, for the first time, that was a lot of fun. That's true. I am like, I have a, like a nervous energy, not because I'm nervous. I've dealt with chat salt before. That's fine. But like, the, like looking at Westside peers and knowing that skirmish and resistance are what they are and, and the world has all these things, I'm just like, ah, ah, give me, give me 1.8. Give me something. Ah, give me more. Do it. Um, I'm sorry for all the cringe, but I just can't help it. I just, I, I need me some 1.8. Um, this stream was just bait. It, was, it wasn't bait. It's just the start of a long line of streams to show you about one, what 1 1.8 has. Yep. Um, so I appreciate your, uh, your feedback, but um, I'm excited. Uh, yeah. Yannick, say something in French before we head off. What's it going to be? Baguette. Wow. Nailed it. Wow. <laughs> you okay. see what I'm coming, right? <laughs> So here's, uh, here's what we're going to do. Yes, uh, we talked about 1.7. Um, there's, you know, the IPM glitch. There are lag issues. There's, we, those haven't changed. Uh, the fact that we're talking about 1.8 now doesn't change how we feel, not about feel, what the reality of 1.7 is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's still a lot of 1.7 to be had before we get to 1.8, and we'll continue to keep talking about it, okay? Um, anything else before we head off, Yannick? We could start the whole state of the game again now that we're both back. Ah, it's fine. You had Peter. I mean, come I on. I know. I know. Well, Peter, Peter, how was it? Scary. Scary. <laughs> Scary, but. That's fine. But Chat, good. Chat's always That's nice. That's fine. Um, okay, so what would be great now? Obviously, you haven't seen a lot of the gameplay stuff that's coming with 1.8, but the thing you know about uh, hip fire changes, um, the new AI spawning system, the the way that you know a lot of the stuff works in 1.8, but not all of it. So let us know what you think so far. Um, come in and chat with us. Yep. Yes. Why don't you answer our question? What's the use of chat? Um, we do. Uh, we don't answer all of them. PTS when? We don't know. Global event two start? Probably one or two weeks it's behind schedule, but pretty close. For PTS, I think we can say that it's um, it's uh, like we're still working on the build. As you've seen, there's still a bunch of stuff that needs to be uh, that needs to be worked on. I had a bit of uh, FPS drops, and mm -hmm. there was a bit of like you know issues here and there, and uh, some collision stuff and all of that. So all of that needs to be uh, fixed. Uh, but I think I mean it's safe to say that we're looking at doing a PTS in the weeks to come. So that's yeah. definitely going to be a September thing. Uh, but cool. as to when in September? Well, September we tomorrow. Plan. Yeah, is it <laughs> but it, during the months of September, that's right. what I mean. It's going to start right. during the months of September. Um, I do want to say quickly, so there will be a stream next week. Um, it's, it's, I, I feel bad because we're kind of dropping Peter right in the deep end because n neither of us will be here. Yep. Um, yeah. Have fun, be, man. It's going to be all Peter next week. It's going to be awesome. Um, yes, I'll, I'll be in, we'll be in different countries. So there's not, not a lot we can do. Um, Yes, if you missed uh, any of the news, I know Woods is asking about hip fire and those sorts of things. Um, you'll need to go back in the past broadcast. I'll put this up as a podcast in just a second. Uh, well, just a second, probably take me half an hour. And then we'll be good. Yes, that's all for today. Yep. Have a great day. Don't forget the special event on the weekend. And Amper will be streaming tomorrow. Yes. Correct. All right, that's all. Have a good one, everyone. See you guys. Bye.